what's up guys before we get into this video head on over to icon rc's got reviews a to z true boys rc rattle can on lake sand and mobay 876 rc for some awesome content don't forget like comment and subscribe youtube what it do it's your boy life of coach d uh, i know it's a little bit late but just got in my 500k diff oil so we can do the center diff on the crate dog um, while we're doing that we're going to go ahead and review the extreme rc precision 13 piece toolkit as you guys can see here so all right so we're going to go ahead and start and do this center diff Check this tool set out on extremerc.precision.com. You can get tools, accessories, tires, cars, anything for your RC. Let's go check them out. Their link is in the description below. Like I said this is the second set of tools from them that I'm using. And the first set has been working very well so this set I can only imagine is going to be even better you know what I mean so getting this top mount off not too shabby and once you have that removed four screws here on the bottom one two three four and then your center diff should drop out so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these screws out of here and then I'll be right back with you guys there we go. All right, so I'm not sure exactly what was going on why it was just free spinning like that whereas the screw wasn't moving but let's see. yeah see for some reason it's just free spinning and as you can see it's turning but the screw's not moving same thing on that one so, let's go back to the previous 2.5 from ERCP, and bam. So, I don't know. It's kind of... Not too sure what's going on there. Let's see. Oof. But I gotta show you guys the good with the good with the not so bad. You know what I mean? Like I said, it, 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 that is nothing serious, honestly. I don't think. Um, like you just saw, that screw was really tough to get out. So maybe it was just. Um, maybe it was just something going on. Side, but I didn't want to damage it so that's why I went back to my other trusty dusty set of extreme RC precision tools also so alright guys we are back just ended up having to remove one of the screws from the motor mount so that way I can get the center diff out 
Like I said, it's first time working on a crate, and so hey, trial by error. All right. So we're gonna open up this diff. Let's see what we got inside. Hopefully, it's some kind of grease, cause I know. Okay. 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 It's not shabby. Not shabby. Not shabby. But. Mm, lighting is not that good but you know it can definitely be changed out honestly that's it's disgusting once we get it all cleaned up then we will go ahead and change it out Alright fellas, we are back. I got it. Let's see if I can get some light. Yeah. I got it as clean as I can. So yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and add some of this 500 k Jesus. Good night. This stuff is thick. Jack I ain't never used. I've never used 500k. And this stuff is thick. Goodness. I can see now why people say. This will stop the tires from ballooning in the front because look at this. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling this diff up. And yeah, finish filling this diff up, and then we'll be back with you. All right, fellas, we're back. We're just buttoning up the center diff. was going to do the front left knuckle and was going to replace it as well but this being my first time working with this Creighton it took a little bit longer than expected so I'll save that front knuckle for probably this weekend probably Friday night after the live show so yeah tomorrow night join us 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to have overgeared racing uh, joining us on the live show. So, you guys come hear his story, man. Hear his testimony. You know what I mean? See how RC changed his life. You know what I mean? So, alright. We're going to get this thing buttoned back up. See you guys in a minute. Big boom. All right, fellas, and we're back. Just putting the screws back in the bottom. Getting this center diff back in. And like I can say, man, just uh, after just using not all the tools, but a, but a couple of them. Um, you know, like I said, the only issue I had was removing the screws out of the bottom. It was like the, the bit itself was just free spinning on the inside of this. But when I checked the set screw, uh, it was tight. Um, so like I said, I'm not sure what happened there or why um, it caused it to do that. But um, it's been working flawless uh, since then. Like I said, I did have to go back to uh, the other hex driver and the other set that I had, but that's nor here nor there. But as you can see, uh, we've been uh, rocking and rolling, man. So 
I just want to use the older one just to lock them in. But, yeah. hey man, that's, that's all she wrote, fellas. I just got to put the top brace back on. And it'll be all done. So, that's how you remove the center diff out of a crating. Five bolts out of the bottom, four bolts off the top, and that's it. I put 500K in the middle. Some people do a million. I, that's just not for me. Um, so, Life of Coach D, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, again, you can go pick you up this 13 piece tool set uh, at extremercprecision.com um, like I said you get your hex drivers in it standard and metric uh, you get a shock tool, body ringer, scissors and tire tool alright so hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, quick review on the tool set um, like I said again can't beat it for the price well machine quality is amazing um, customer service is awesome as well so appreciate you guys man life of coach d i know it's late but hey we gotta do what we gotta do when we can do it and we out